Let's move on to Google, which is another stock trading at its all-time high. The official name of the company is Alphabet, although I refuse to call it that in public. It is, of course, the search engine company with all of the associated advertising technologies, cloud computing, and other things. We'll talk about some of the different mm -hmm. aspects like Gmail and YouTube. Market cap, I think this is the second most valuable company in the world, $660.5 billion. One of these companies at some point in the future is going to trade at a trillion dollars, but we're on our way there. You just got to be patient. Price to earnings ratio, 31.72, not a dividend payer. Let's go straight to the share chart. Holy smokes, that's the kind of thing you want to own. Yeah. Starts at the left on the bottom and proceeds steadily upwards towards the top right. That's a share chart and a half. Eh? Yeah, I mean, this <coughs> business, ever since it's listed, has been a growth engine, and it, it remains so. They came out with numbers late last week. Yep. And again, across the board, the businesses are firing. Ad revenues up, uh, YouTube views up, YouTube revenue up. You mentioned cloud. They've now been a bit behind on cloud, mm. introduced a, a cloud service. They're seeing massive growth there that they think can be bigger than their advertising business in a few years. So they are square and center in the internet, uh, taking advantage of They're kind of, of synonymous with the internet. So when they people are, say, exactly. well, you're sitting at a dinner party and someone says, well, what's the capital of Latvia or something? In the old days, you used to think, well, hell, what the hell was it? Mm. Now it's like, you know what? We don't have to guess this anymore. Where's that phone of mine? So, and exactly, so it, they're a core part of people's lives. They, yeah. uh, in any Android phone, typically it's on the, the front of the phone, in the middle is the search, and that's Google. why they're back to but even Android. on Apple phones, people automatically install the Google Maps app and the Google exactly. search app. I mean. And Apple try to move away from Google Maps, they're, they're moving back to it. it it's just, yeah. the, the properties they have are, are so powerful, a number of, of billion user properties and now including Google Play, which we've seen a lot, a lot of growth from. So this remains a juggernaut. But the core business is the associated ad. So if you're in an area and you type, you know, uh, glass because your, you know, window, the kid th put the soccer ball through it or something, then it brings up the local advertisers in your area. People don't advertise in the newspaper anymore. No. People in a local business environment, whether it's restaurants, coffee shops, you know, almost every conceivable service, they use Google and of course Google then makes money from the positioning of those ads when you get served. And then the associated visuals on YouTube and all oh, the other amazing. places. Yeah. So Cash that, Spigot, just yeah, huge. They global own, business as well. Yeah, I guess a market leader in, 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 in global yeah. advertising on the internet and uh, more and more traditional media, as you said, is moving to that as well. Uh, youngsters engage with the internet, they're not using other traditional forms of media. Yeah. You have to be there uh, to access their eyeballs. As far as the management team is concerned, Larry Page is the group CEO, right? yeah. one of the founders, but uh, Sundar Pichai is the mm -hmm. guy who actually runs the search business. But a very important management figure is Ruth Porat, who's an ex-banker. Yes. Her job basically is to keep those tech propeller heads calm and make sure that they don't spend all the money on the moonshot projects. Those That's are right. those kind of things like driverless cars and, you know, deep in deep uh, learning, uh, yes. artificial That's intelligence, right. all that stuff. And that's yeah. good and well, because they are always looking for new things, that's but right. you don't want them to spend too much money there. No, so, and uh, really, uh, Ruth uh, coming on board was the uh, catalyst for creating yeah. the Alphabet Holding Company, so yeah. they could uh, segment and separate those moonshot operations, which have been... They should have called the whole company trend. Google and put all that other nonsense in the thing called Moonshot Inc. Huh? I guess so. I think <laughs> they, they hopefully they're trying to cover the Alphabet A to Z with, uh, with some of their offerings. And so... The, the, you mentioned the, the advertising business is really their cash cow. I think yeah. what's the most exciting out of those other businesses is this cloud business yes. and funding yes. that and the growth of that. Which is for hosting of their own businesses, but obviously for making third party uh, right. hosting available to just about every other web based business, of course, you know, from yes. banks to telcos and everything in between. That's right. And, and where yeah. AWS is currently the market leader. Okay, good. So I'm going to call it quits on this one. Literally $935 a share, going to 1000 it seems. But are you inclined to steer people towards buying this one at its 30 PE? I mean, yeah, just a juggernaut. Uh, the, yes, I mean, the, the results were actually better than expectations. I think what we're seeing is possibly a new age uh, of technology because a number of things are joining together, the rise of the internet, mobile computing, uh, cloud computing, and those companies that have the best market position yeah. to exploit that are still in a very good position, Google being top of the pile. So hot on this one too. Yes.